Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows 10 or Windows 11 security error that the virus and threat protection engine is unavailable. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the search menu and search for services. Best result, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And now in this list, you want to scroll down to Security Center and double click on it. If the service status is stopped, you want to go ahead and start it. And if it's running, you might want to stop it and start it up again and then select Apply and OK to save that. Once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And then into this command line window, you want to type in SC space start, S-T-A-R-T, space win, W-I-N, defend, all one word, so win, defend, capital W, capital D in defend, capital W in the win part, space enable, once again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and then hit enter. And you can see that it's already running. So in this case, we don't actually have to you know, worry about that. But in your case, you might have had to start it up. So hopefully that would have been able to resolve the issue. And then something else you can try here as well. I will have a command in the description of the video. I probably will include this first one as well. So if you want to just copy and paste and then run it. So the second command we're going to be running, it's DISM command in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy that, and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right-click on it, select that, and paste it in. Hit Enter to run that scan.
And once that is concluded, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer? And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.